The center has established an international reputation. It's some of the most groundbreaking discoveries in the field of cancer research. Thanks to the pioneering efforts of groups like the Johnson Cancer Center, the success rate is continuing to climb. When I became Cancer Center Director 20 years ago, our goal was to build the best translational cancer center in the world. I think we've accomplished that. The Johnson Comprehensive Cancer Center is a, a very rich, uh, diverse cancer center with a number of resources. Every patient that we treat, we try to treat to their utmost abilities with state-of-the-art care. The entire world has changed in the last 20 years in terms of cancer therapies. Everyone who had the same diagnosis was treated exactly the same way. Surgery, radiation therapy, chemotherapy, or some combination thereof. If we fast forward to the current day, the technology that we have available to us has grown by leaps and bounds, and we're able to understand a lot more about the characteristics of each patient and their tumor. There's outstanding, awesome researchers uh, present within the Cancer Center. There are basic science researchers, translational researchers, clinicians, scientists, who are all in close proximity to one another and work together seamlessly. Science, in my opinion, is never done in isolation. You have to be able to work together and collaborate. Even within just the division of hematology oncology, we take findings from one tumor type and apply it to something like lymphoma that a lot of other centers don't do. It's that crosstalk between disciplines that's really important. The Johnson Comprehensive Cancer Center really has a, a vision of how to develop new therapies for patients. And the leadership is very forward thinking. It's a really exciting time to be in oncology. Uh, we're learning uh, more about cancer than we've ever known. And we're starting to unlock uh, the way that the immune system is able to treat the patients with cancer. In the last six months, three new therapies have been approved for cancer treatment. One of these drugs, Keytruda, makes it possible for the first time to effectively harness the patient's own immune system in the fight against metastatic melanoma. It's currently being tested in a number of other types of cancer as well, and we're very hopeful that it will be effective in other solid tumors. A cancer patient will be a survivor. Cancer will be a treatable disease. discovered that I had a lump in my breast and it turned out that I had um, breast cancer. I had three lumpectomies and a partial mastectomy and then we went on to seven months of chemo. When you get that horrid diagnosis, your first thing is what am I going to do, where am I going to go? The CT scan showed that the melanoma had spread into my liver and into my back and into my right shoulder. The cancer was still growing and I was majorly symptomatic at that point. At two years old, they diagnosed me with neuroblastoma cancer, stage four. I underwent two major surgeries to remove the mass and I had massive doses of chemotherapy, full body irradiation, a blood transfusion, and I was the first person to have an autogalous bone marrow treatment. The original masses, uh, when they were at their largest size, were each about 11 centimeters. And now they are decreased by about 85% in volume. UCLA Johnson Cancer Center has supported me with my treatment process and my healing. They've been very, very supportive almost like family, like a second home. We're doing groundbreaking, novel, innovative cancer research at UCLA. I'm doing everything I possibly can to help patients with pancreatic cancer. None of this is possible without the philanthropic funds to the Johnson Comprehensive Cancer Center at UCLA. Philanthropy allows us to do projects that are high risk potentially, but potentially also high reward that normally would not get funding through federal agencies. The amount of infrastructure in terms of people, in terms of technology, is enormous. And it's not possible to do that work without the very generous support of individuals who share the dream that we share, which is to end this disease of cancer. Cancer research certainly saved my life. 
I wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for the UCLA Johnson Cancer Center. The research that I benefit from here unquestionably saved my life. I'm excited to, to, to watch the developments and to see the future treatments that come out of UCLA Johnson Cancer Center. I'm a survivor. Cancer research saved my life. How many new survivors will you help create? How many new breakthrough therapies will you fund? The end of cancer begins with research. The end of cancer begins with you.